I'm one of the crawler product consultants for John Deere. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about the 850X tier machine that we're really excited to have come out here. Hopefully in a couple of weeks, uh, we'll be shipping these from the factory. Uh, so while it looks a whole lot like an 850L, there's a ton of changes that go on behind the scenes or kind of under the skin of this machine. Now, one of the biggest ones you're gonna see on this is the E-Drive. And that means that it's a dual path electric drive transmission. Now, to simply put it, we basically removed the high stack components out of this tractor and replaced it with a generator and a dual path electric drive system, meaning there's an electric drive motor at each final drive to control each track independently. Now, why would we want to do that? That's a question we hear a lot. And the question is answered best by saying we want to have total control over that entire machine in every application. So when we start thinking about side cutting into slopes, carrying materials around corners, being able to get in and do full power turns, we now have the capability to control each track independently to make sure we get all the power to the ground and move the material as efficiently and as quickly as possible. Now, efficiency speaking, this dual path electric drive system is the next level of efficiency, even above that of a hydrostat. So we're able to take every ounce of fuel that goes into this engine and put it to the ground in, in as efficiently as, as possible. So some other things you're gonna notice with this machine when we get a chance to run it later uh, is the controllability. So being able to pick up loads, cut bigger cuts, be able to take more material with each pass and carry that material faster to wherever that grade needs to be laid is something that we're gonna be able to accomplish with this machine that we haven't been able to do with the hydrostat in the past. Uh, aside from the electric drive portion, this machine is jam packed full of technology. From advanced vision systems where we're able to see kind of a surround view of, of the machine and what's around it to give us a better positional awareness of what's going on on our job site, all the way through to the grade control technology. So this machine's gonna have what we call our next gen grade control or next gen smart grade, meaning we're gonna have a 12.8 inch touchscreen monitor that's gonna show us our entire site plan. We're able to see profile views and configure it and customize it to whatever's important for the operator at that point on their project. Now, some other really great things that this is gonna include is our 2D slope control, which is also part of that 3D smart grade package, as well as a new feature that we've rolled out recently on our smaller dozers, and that's our easy grade system. And easy grade does just that. It makes it easier for the operator to get in and make smooth passes more consistently, more quickly, and more effortlessly than ever before. So when we think about trying to take that fatigue away from the operator and make that long day feel a little bit shorter, easy grade is definitely going to help with that. Now, as I was talking about the uh, easy grade, the slow control, and the smart grade, the best thing about this new technology is it all interplays with each other. Which I, what I mean by that is, if I'm running my 3D grade control system and I get in a, in a canopy area, maybe I'm under a tree, maybe I'm next to a building, anywhere where I lose my GPS signal, I can very quickly switch from 3D control to onboard 2D control, match my grade, and take right back off grading until I regain my satellite signal and flip back over to my 3D control, which is something that we're, we're the only ones doing that right now. And to me, that's gonna give us that next level of productivity when we're trying to do that finish type work. So that's, that's a really, really cool feature that we have. Now, some other things that we've done here, this engine, although it is a nine liter engine, just like what you've seen in the 850L, this engine's slightly different. We've gone from a two turbo engine to a single turbo engine. And we've also redesigned our after treatment system. So we've gone from a two canister after treatment system down to a single can or an inline after treatment to help reduce some of the complexity under the hood. And it also allowed us to lower the hood line to improve visibility a little bit. Now the single turbo that we have in this engine now actually provides better transient engine response and even better low end torque. And that's something that we're gonna be able to see when we get a chance to get in this machine later. So instead of running at the normal 21 or 2200 RPM, we're actually able to reduce this all the way down to run between 12 and 14 to 1600 RPMs depending on the load, which is pretty impressive. Now the reason I bring that up is because that's so important when it comes to fuel economy and being able to make this machine, like I said, as absolutely efficient as possible. And while we're talking efficiency, it's more than just that. We also wanna make it a producer. Okay. The reason we've done all of these changes is to make sure that this machine is going to move the absolute most material that it can 
as quickly as possible while being as fuel economy or fuel efficient as possible as well. So there's some really great things that we have packed into this.